Also bei Intel werden auch Desktop-PCs vorgestellt und unter anderem gibt es ein neues Mini-ITX-Board. Und dieses Mal ist es wirklich Mini-ITX und nicht nur Micro-ITX, wie es damals bei den ersten D20er-Boards war. Das neue Board basiert sozusagen auf Desktop-Prozessoren, neuen Chipsatz und es hat auf der Rückseite, es nennt sich Intel Desktop Board DG45FC und es scheint so, als wäre es nun von offizieller Seite, dass es wirklich auch einfach wie unter der normalen Produktlinie vermarktet werden soll. Es hat auf jeden Fall DVI und HDMI, eSATA, 6 USB Schnittstellen, allerdings fehlt eigentlich ein PC Express Slot bzw. ein 16 Fach Express Slot. Das lenkt natürlich den Einsatz ein, aber für jetzt Low-End und Mid-Range ist es natürlich super, vor allem weil entsprechend ein moderner Chipsatz eingebaut ist. Uh, but what we have in this one is actually a working uh, sample. It's based on our G45A0 silicon, so that we've had in our validation lab for three months, and the engineers have been pounding away on making sure the quality and reliability are perfect when we get it to, ready to ship to market. We did just start shipping our production version of this chipset samples to our customers. Uh, so we're very healthy, we're, we're, we're targeting for a very exciting launch in Q2 and a strong ramp from there. And what I want to show you is Additionally to the A0 silicon, we have our uh, roughly beta level driver uh, that goes in that silicon and we've been working very closely uh, with Corel InterVideo on their WinDVD application to take advantage of the, the features in the chipset, as well as some of the other players in the industry. And so we have a demo of a high def clip from Superman Returns uh, using the WinDVD player that is optimized for the Intel C45. We can get the sound live now. So this is actually running through the chipset through our alpha driver. Um, it's, it, it, because it is early, there are some things that are still being done in CPU, but when we ship the production product, the entire pipeline will be decoded in the chipset. CPU utilization is expected to be less than 25%, often less than 20%, depending on the scenes. Um, so we're very healthy and very excited about the progress to deliver this stutter-free, smooth HD experience, enabling small form factors like this uh, mini ITX example. Thank you, Josh. So, key message, A0 silicon, A2, I'm sorry, the, the production stepping of the silicon shipping today to our customers for samples so that they can finish their validation and get these products to market in future.